Well, hello, Sanford, and welcome to another edition of Beck's Bench, a new monthly video series in which I share important news and information from our campus, and when I host inspiring members of our community to discuss their experiences, insights, and faith. As you know, Sanford University is a leader in higher education, and it achieves its excellence through its distinguished academic programs. Today's guest brings us to the steps of Harwell Goodwin Davis Library, perhaps the most recognizable building on Sanford's beautiful campus. Constructed in 1956, it's named for Sanford's President Davis, who served from 1939 to 1958. And if you didn't know, Major Davis won a commendation for his service in World War I. It's a place to learn and study, it's a place to do research, and a place where students rub Major's nose for good luck during exams. And joining me now is Dr. Marcy Johns, Senior Associate Provost here at Sanford University and one of our academic leaders here on campus. Dr. Johns, welcome to Beck's Bench. Let's start with the big news that we found out last week. Sanford yes. University ranked number one by the Wall Street Journal, Times Higher Education yes. for student engagement. What does that mean to you? What does that mean yes. to our faculty? It's validation of what we already knew. So we knew that what we were doing on campus was exceptional. We knew that we were engaging students in the classroom and now it's just an external validation of that. So it's an opportunity for us to celebrate. Two mm -hmm. weeks before that, Sanford University was ranked 37th by US yes. News and World Report for the quality of undergraduate teaching and education. Mm -hmm. There are more than 4,000 colleges and universities in our country. That puts us in the top 1%. Yes. What makes Sanford a leader in academic quality? I would say two things. One, uh, absolutely faculty. Our faculty are exceptional. They are dedicated. They are committed to student education here at, at Sanford. Um, and I would say secondly, it's administration. I think we have a lot of support from our administrators, um, from you and our provost. Um, Dr. Harden has always said that he is committed to making sure that faculty and students have exactly what they need um, to succeed in the classroom. And he says, you know, by all means possible, we wanna make that happen. So I would definitely say it's, uh, it's our faculty and the great people we have at Sanford. Well, staying on that theme, mm -hmm. tell us a little bit more about the Faculty Success Center. The Faculty Success Center is an absolute dream come true. Um, the Faculty Success Center is, has been a dream that we have had um, for many years. And it all started with a uh, makeshift coffee shop that we had some colleagues uh, literally put a floor down, a hardwood floor, make a coffee bar so that we could have an opportunity to have faculty come in and participate in professional development sessions. Um, and so now we have on the fourth floor of DBH a beautiful faculty success center that is there um, to provide faculty with all sorts of opportunities for professional development, um, for one-on-one -on -one training, for one-on-one -on -one help with instructional design and academic technology, um, or it's just a place for them to call their own. It's a place for them to come and have a cup of coffee or grab some water in between classes or if they need a quiet time to research or meet with a student or uh, anything that they need to do to collaborate in that space. So it is a true dream. Mm -hmm. You mentioned academic technology. Yes. We certainly saw how important academic technology is over the pandemic. Yes. We really navigated that quite well, didn't we? Why, why did we navigate that so well? We absolutely navigated it well, and uh, that is something I am certain of. We had uh, to flip the switch like many institutions very, very quickly. Um, and when we did that, it, it was a struggle. Everyone struggled with flipping the switch immediately. We had a couple weeks notice to move those classes online. But I think all of the preparation that Sanford had participated in in the past with ensuring quality courses, online course design, professional development training. And the thing I'm most proud of is, you know, when we flipped that switch in March, it was complicated, it was stressful. We're worried about our own personal health. We're worried about the health of our students. But we had over 700 enrollments in professional development training from March until fall of that year. So that tells you that our faculty didn't give up. They kept working to, to be, make those classes even better. Um, so I think it was such an amazing commitment uh, by our faculty. 
-hmm. You wear a lot of hats at Sanford. One of mm -hmm. them is you are our accreditation liaison. Yes. And as mm -hmm. such, you've had a lot of impact on our quality enhancement plan, our QEP as we call yes. it, called Level Up. Right. Tell us a little bit more about Level Up. Level Up has been an amazing success. We started this program five years ago. Dr. Don Bradley is the director of that program in Arts and Sciences. Um, he has led the charge and has done a fantastic job uh, leading that charge. So what we did about five years ago is we started cohorts of faculty that would go through um, a different peer review model to really take a look at assignments that, that we're using in the classrooms to ensure that those assignments are constructed in the best way possible to really make sure that students are getting what they need. So we call this powerful assignments. So we already had some great assignments in the classroom, but we took that opportunity to really level up and increase those, and really get those assignments to the point where we felt like they were reaching that maximum um, efficiency, which leads to greater student engagement in the classroom. Um, so it's been a great program. We have had over 125 faculty go through that quality enhancement plan uh, program. So we're really excited about it. And it has now become part of the instructional foundation for Sanford. Um, the QEP is supposed to become part of our culture, and it, it definitely has. It's become part of who we are in creating um, those powerful assignments for students that lead again to uh, student engagement. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for your leadership on that. Yes. You know, we're sitting mm -hmm. here on a bench outside of Davis Library, a beautiful mm -hmm. setting here tonight. What's one of your favorite places on campus? Well, ironically, this is my favorite place on campus um, because my mother is an avid gardener. And so I like to watch the seasons change and I make sure to take pictures of that right there to show her uh, what those flowers look like at Sanford. The entire campus is beautiful. And I have to say, secondly, it's the Faculty Success Center. I love it. It's just a beautiful place to be, so. Well, Marcy, thank you so much for appearing on Beck's Bench today. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you for celebrating our faculty and the great work that they do to make Sanford a great academic home. Thank you. Absolutely, thank you. <laughs> and thank you for watching. And while our next Bex Bench will not be until November the 1st, it is never too early to promote Homecoming 2021. It's November 5th and 6th. You see the website there to register, please do so. Let's make it the biggest and best homecoming yet. Because don't forget, Someone is getting inaugurated that weekend, and he'd love to see you there. Till next time, God bless you, God bless Sanford, and go Bulldogs.